Okay, in this video I'm just going to quickly show you how to change the image size and resolution of an image. Now, I've got an image here, uh, which is my PNG for my Awesome Graphics logos. Um, you can see here where the mouse is, but it's a 1600 by 900 image. Okay, so if I go, and I want to make it high resolution, so I'm going to say canvas image size. Now, I'm not going to change the physical print size, which was this weird amount, 10 and a half inch by six inches, but I'm going to increase the resolution, okay, to 300 dots per inch. And you'll see that that's now made it 3,200 by 1,800, so I've doubled it effectively. And you'll see that things are a bit smoother. Obviously that's going to create a bigger image, okay. I could have lowered the resolution. Let's say I wanted to use this, but I wanted it to be a bit smaller um, because it's going to take up too much uh, space and I want to maybe put it on a web page or something. Um, so I don't want a massive image loading on a web page. So again, modify canvas, image size, uh, and I'm going to drop the resolution down to 72 dots per inch. Okay, and you can see that that's making the pixels reduce by quite a bit. So this should look rougher. There won't be such nice clean curves and the text will look a bit naffer as well. So let's just do that and have a look. So let's zoom into 100%. See, that's 100% now. So it's smaller. Um, and if I was to save this, and you can see when I zoom in, it looks rougher. Okay, so I might save this just to do an example. So I'm going to say file save as. Um, I'm going to rename this and put 72 dpi so I know that that's that image. Uh, we go back, find that item which is in there, and you can see that the image size is uh, different. So that was 190 kilobytes the original, this smaller one is 134. If I go on to preview, you can see that's the low dpi one. That's the high DPI one. Okay, you can really notice it on uh, the diagonal lines and the rough sketch that I've done. That they are not as nice on the low res one. A bit blocky. Okay, so that's how to change the image size and image resolution, which you might need to do for different different versions. Let's say, for instance, when you do poster, you might want to do a proof, an email a proof to somebody. So you don't want the full resolution image because it might be big. Okay.